this is Eric Moade with Moade.com with yet another quick video from an educational standpoint. Now, recently I've been talking to you about a method and we can see here the market trading at the levels you see here. Dow did record a fresh intraday high today, March 6th, 2021. So yes, markets, cryptos, pretty much essentially at all time highs. But there's something not right with this market and it can be seen on a lot of the previously so-called leadership stocks from 2020. A lot of the stocks are distracting. So recently I've been sensitizing you guys and introducing to you a method that could help in identifying situations where some of the stocks you own in your portfolio are about to drop or are about to break their recently powerful move to the upside. So the links to this playlist is going to be in the description of this video. So if you want more information, take a look at that playlist. Now let's take a look at some examples of stocks that have been setting the stage from that standpoint of the two wrongs. So we can see here, I'm going to go through this quickly. There is a failed breakout here, which is your first inkling. This is a weekly chart, failed breakout in March. We haven't been back to those levels. That was your first warning. Something was not right. And then now we have, as of this very day, I believe, actually this week, we are seeing a break below the base. So really, this is something that is starting to show up in many of the charts for instruments that were leadership last year. And what this tells me is that there is something not right with the market. When you see leadership stocks breaking down, the general market might be next. It might seem to take forever to catch up with the breakdown of individual stocks, but there seems to be something not right again in the market. And the exit signal was right there sometime in February. And again, this was a good moving instrument. But again, what wasn't moving well in 2020? But now we see not looking very great. I would also add that there's a possibility of a fresh break if it can't hold recent lows. Be on the lookout because that in itself would be a sign of a, another violation. But for the purpose of this video, what we are looking at here was this break right there based on the concept which I call the two bearish wrongs. Let's take a look at another example. So here is AI, an IPO from late 2020 in December. So this instrument moves from about, let's call it IPO price of 45 in about three weeks goes to north of 180. Now is back to 56 ish. Now, which part of this move would you like to have been part of? Anyway, take a look at this recent breakout attempt that failed. So there is your first warning that something ain't right. There's no momentum, failed breakout. And since then, whoop, and then we go on to make another bearish move, which is a violation of the base. And once that base was busted, Owning the instrument became very risky and in this particular instant there was no recovery and those who held on have paid a price for that. So this break here was the second bearish wrong after the first bearish wrong being this failed breakout. Now let's take a look at one more and this is GameStop. This is the four hourly. I'm just showing you an example here. So. GME, which was in the news a couple of weeks, couple of months back. And whenever an instrument you own is in the news because of an expensive, exaggerated move, remember, that's not a good sign. Now, take a look at this four hourly closing high. Now, I apologize, the chart is not the best looking here, but let's just work with what we have. So, Notice that it goes down for a couple of days, excuse me, for a couple of bars. Each bar is four hourly. 
or four hours of time period we break down there and then we try to break out we get rejected not good and then we make the second wrong so that was the first inkling failure to break out now this price here we're talking about is in the force 400 price level or so about 375 was that level on a four hourly closing level and then we break below that base so the base right there is the four hourly closing low we come back and break it now that in itself that break by GameStop was the second bearish signal and since this drop here we went from the drop there being a huge gap down so prices had gone from intraday highs here of about 475 all the way to about 34 give or take in a couple of weeks if not days and all of that was flashed by the two bearish wrongs that I'm discussing here so I bet some of the stocks in your portfolio have been seeing significant sell-offs I guarantee if you go back and check as you question yourself why you did not see the sell signal a lot of them are gonna display this two wrongs original concept that I am and have been introducing to you guys as a service to you so be it Eric Mwadwith Mwadwith.com Love light, light love, namaste.